we have a radical expression and we need to rewrite this using exponential notation. Think of a number that's greater than one, say two or three. When we're exponentiating a number like two or three, the higher the power we raise it, the bigger the number is. So in a sense, exponentiating a number like two or three is growing their values, climbing up. In a similar manner, when we take roots of a number like two or three, we're making those numbers smaller and smaller. Like square root of 100 is 10, square root of 10 is around three and so on. There is a formula and in that formula, we can rewrite the third root and the seventh power into a single fractional exponent where we have a fraction in the exponent and the numerator, the number of stairs is how much we go up. That's the exponentiation. So that's seven. And the number in the denominator is, or the number downstairs is how much we go down that is taking the roots of the number. So x to the seven over three is the same as the third root of x to the seven. Recall that the rule of exponentiation that we are using here is that a to the n over m is, well actually it has two forms if it exists, it's either m root of a to the nth power or a to the nth power and when we're done m root of it. So basically there is a commutativity here. First we take the root and then we exponentiate or first we exponentiate then we take the root. But either way the number downstairs is, th is the number of roots taken, the number upstairs is how we climb up with values, which is exponentiation. So this is, this is our answer in this case. Thank you for watching.